Great morning. It is Thursday, March 21st. Let's get to the cards and see what we have going today. Again, we have dream time creation. Dream time creation. Next we have emotions. <clears throat> What kind of emotions are your dream time creations stirring up? Let's see what else we have. <clears throat> Next we have prosperity, wealth, good fortune, success, express gratitude by supporting others, material possessions. Okay. So there you have one of the creation. You know, everyone is in the soap opera of their own creation. They're, they're writing their own script in their dream time creations of mind. So hopefully one of the emotions that you're bringing up is that of gratitude. Okay. Next we have, yes, links, observation. And a big part of the path is observing, you know, observing mind, how mind latches onto something, how that creates emotion, how that uh, goes through the body system. Um, if you really observe something, you'll find out that uh, fear is when the body knee jerks and pushes out a big rush of adrenaline through the system okay so if you're sitting and observing you can see that fear is just a body rush of adrenaline okay and last but not least again celebration um, part of the part of the uh, transformational cycle celebration when things come together. So again, this is talking about basically the spiritual path. Again, um, that we are the ones that are creating our scenario. We keep ourselves in bondage. We keep ourselves in these uh, boxes that we've created, these prisons that we've created for ourselves to try to keep us safe. People think they're in safety, but really they're creating a jail and a box of their own making, and they keep themselves stuck in there for quite some time. So part of the path is sitting and observing how mind works. You'll see that nothing lives on its own. It's an attachment to mind play. When you have something that's really bothering you, it's in your thoughts. It's dredging up all these emotions. When that thought is no longer there, where did it go? Where is it? 
all of a sudden those emotion, that drama is gone. Well, where did it go to? So how much reality does it really have? What do you think about that, Mr. Max? <laughs> he says, I've got a, I've got a, well, no, I have a two-track mind. The two-track mind is clinging to the mama being Mr. Velcro, and the other track is looking for a treat, <laughs> looking for the goodies. Two-track mind, that's it. He's on one track or the other track. Isn't that right, Mr. Max? Yeah, he's pretty simple track there. Yeah. <laughs> we know your road map, Mr. Max. <laughs> Mr. Max has two tracks, attention or food. That's it. <laughs> okay, come on. You come up here. There you go, Mr. Max. There you go, Mr. Max. You come sit up here for a minute. So that's part of the journey is to learn to come into the moment when you see yourself, you know, dredging up old memories and trying to live in the past, bring yourself back to present because you're losing this moment over something that can never be again. And when you're projecting in the future, again, uh, bring yourself back to this moment because this is the only moment you can truly live within. Isn't that right, Mr. Max? He's just like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> He's a good boy. <laughs> Both my dogs are very good. They're very good boys. Yeah, they're good boys. I don't know. I've always been fortunate to have very good pets. <laughs> but Max is the starer. He's just like this all day. Just, he just stare at you and stare and stare. You're so funny. Anyway. So, just take the day and kind of watch how the mind, the thoughts create emotions, okay? And because of the emotions, you start feeling it in the form and then these things feel very solid. But in fact, they're not solid. They're all created out of the ether of the mind spin of your very own soap opera <laughs> that you're creating in every moment in your dream time creations and this is why when one gets to the end of the journey it is called waking up because you are no longer in the dream time creations of mega fantasy which with you enslave yourself into these boxes of denial or trying to substantiate whatever it is that is really pushing and driving you into these actions that are not really in the end beneficial, but you just continue to stay on this grand hamster wheel <laughs> running <laughs> in motion and really going nowhere but spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning okay so i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna go take care of mr max here and uh, i hope everyone's having a great thursday <laughs> oh what is it uh-huh i i see what you want he says, you know what I want. Watch this. He says, I want a treasure. I want a treasure, Mama. You have a treasure for me? 
He said, oh, I heard the word, a treasure. You know, if you want a treasure, you know where you have to go. Bed. Bed. You want a treasure? Go to your bed. Oh, he's off on the run. There he goes. He's on the run over to his bed. <laughs> now he's standing here staring at me and said, you said you're going to get me a treasure. You need to get up now and go get it. Right now. Right now, Mama. Right now. Okay, I'm coming. Treasure time. Yep, you can have a treasure. So I'm going to go give this little monkey a treasure, and I'll see you online. Um, I did get a request for a reading about if about fires this year. Are we going to have a lot of fires this year? Oh, and John, if you are looking in this morning, tell your wife, Christiana, thank you for making this beautiful necklace for me. It's wonderful. I don't know. It, it's you can't see it online really well, but it's got a uh, aquamarine here, and then it's got little. You can kind of see them a little bit, um, topazes and little seed pearls here in with sterling silver between. It's just so delicate and lovely. Um, so thank you for creating that for me and sending it for my birthday. It's very appreciated. I love it. And I hope everyone's having a great day. See you online. Aho.